Be Wealthy and Smart, episode 1431. into a world of wealth and financial freedom without budgets, boredom, or bosses on Be Wealthy and Smart. And now, here's your host, Linda P. Jones. Welcome to Be Wealthy and Smart. I'm Linda P. Jones, America's Wealth Mentor, empowering women and men worldwide to financial freedom. On today's show, we're going to talk about why home buyers are waiting to buy their first home until they're a little bit older. There's a study out that says first-time home buyers are older than ever and are now in their late 30s and jostling with cash-rich buyers in the race to buy a home, according to new research from the National Association of Realtors. There was a survey done on U.S. home buyers and sellers by the National Association of Realtors, or NAR, and this data has been collected since 1981, which shows the makeup of home buyers and how the housing affordability crisis is impacting them. This year's survey was based on transactions completed between July 2023 and June of 2024 and found that the age of the typical first home buyer has risen to age 38, which is up from age 35 last year. And that's the highest age since the survey began. Married couples make up the majority of home buyers overall, but only 36% of first time home buyers said they had children under 18 at home. Single first time female buyers rose by 5%. And first-time homeowners accounted for only 24% of all house purchases in 2023 to 2024, with the median household income of first-time buyers being $97,000. This 24% of first-time home buyers of purchases in 2023 to 2024 is down from 40% in 2008. So we can see the trend is dramatically lower for first-time home buyers being able to afford homes which we already knew, but this report confirms it. The NAR says first-time homebuyers face high home prices, high mortgage interest rates, and limited inventory, making them a decade older with significantly higher incomes than previous generations of buyers. Jessica Lotz of NAR said the most difficult step, even among successful first-time buyers, was just finding the right property. People with cash are edging out first-time buyers, as all cash buyers can offer large down payments, but typically 23% likely earned through increased equity in their home. About 31% are repeat buyers that paid cash and didn't need to finance their home purchase in 2023 to 2024. The typical down payment for first-time buyers was 9%, which is the highest since 1997. As far as financing goes, 7% of first-time buyers used inheritance to help purchase their home. That's an all-time high. And 21% used financial assets, such as savings and cashing out stocks. Successful first-time buyers said high rent, student debt, credit card debt, and car loans had hampered their savings. But according to the study, many potential home buyers and sellers have also been scared off by high mortgage rates. The good news in this story is that for those wanting to buy their first home, the survey found more people than ever, 17%, had bought homes for multi-generational living, solving the issue of housing costs, child and elder care in one home. Interest rates have been swinging pretty widely since before the election, and today the 30-year fixed mortgage rate is at 7.5%, the 30-year fixed FHA rate is at 6.7%, and the 30-year VA rate is at 6.9%. And as we look forward, there's around a 68% chance that the Federal Reserve is going to reduce interest rates by a quarter of a percent in December, but I think the chances of that are pretty good. And then moving into 2025, we definitely see a lower trend in interest rates, possibly more than a full 1% drop from there. So rates are trending in the right direction overall, which will help the housing market Now, if we can just get some more inventory and listings so that people can find their home that they're looking for. If you haven't yet subscribed to Be Wealthy and Smart, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified as soon as new podcasts are available. And all of my podcasts are on my website at lindapjones.com forward slash podcasts. And while you're there, sign up for my weekly newsletter for more wealth tips for your financial freedom. That's all for today. Until next time, live the good life and be wealthy and smart. Thank you for listening to Be Wealthy and Smart with Linda P. Jones. 
share the wealth and tell your family and friends about the show. Check out our website, blog and social media for more riches at www.bewealthyandsmart.com.